Hi, this is Apocrypha from Apoc Industries. Welcome to episode 15 of Mosaic. Uh, in the last episode, we had, uh, apparently, we had planned out uh, a couple of uh, wall templates, um, and we had laid those blueprints down over here. Uh, so off camera, I went ahead and put everything together. Um, the turrets I haven't filled in yet. I won't do that until we actually start getting attacked and just kind of put them down uh, only in places where we do get attacked. Uh, I did put in a little gate so we could get in and I left a spot to uh, put ammo in but uh, I was gonna set that up um, in this episode. The other thing that we need to do is uh, figure out how we're gonna get train loads of ore uh, into our smelting lane I think that what we might do is build a station in um, in this tile here. Uh, we can take a look at what we can do for that and reroute the uh, the copper out of here. Um, I'm not sure. Um, this will be the first time that I'm using trains in uh, in Mosaic, so. I'm not sure how that's going to end up working out. I guess we shall see, though. Uh, it will be important to set up our train before we actually set up the mining, uh, so that the infrastructure is all in place uh, for us to be able to, um, you know, actually <laughs> drop stuff off. Uh, so let's see. Um, I think the first thing that we're going to do is decide uh, where our primary uh, train line is going to be running. Um, I think that uh, the plan is to have the trains basically running on uh, either side of the, uh, the big power poles. Uh, so basically uh, we'll take, uh, take it up here and run the train line basically like this. Um, so we'll have two lanes to start with and that'll run um, east-west and that'll be kind of... Well, I guess that won't really be the backbone of our trains going to the west because there's going to be a base in the way. Yeah. Uh, oh, another thing that I did off camera is I extended the highway a little bit and put icons on here so that we can see at a glance that these are smelters, this is power, green circuits, green and red science, our labs, bullet production, and uh, our little strip mall. Well, maybe it would make more sense then to have our backbone a little bit more to the north. I was going to run into this. You know what? Let's uh, let's not worry about setting up a backbone right now. Let's just set up a station so that we can start getting more iron, and we will worry about uh, setting up a larger scale train network later. So what we'll do first and foremost is uh, a very very simple unloading station, and we will do that uh, right here. We're going to use a, uh, a double-ended train and that's going to be right here we'll maybe do like a, a one two train something very small uh, we'll call this iron uh, what are we gonna call this base starter iron drop off there we go um, do we have enough stuff to make a train? No, let's go grab some stuff. Uh, where's my car? There it is. We're going to need two cargo wagons. Uh, we're going to need some green circuits, apparently. And some engines. Uh, let's drop another stack of steel in here as well so that uh, it starts making some more engines. Uh, speaking of steel, all right, and we'll make two locomotives, uh, one for each direction, because like I said, we're going to use a double-headed train for this. 
so that we don't have to worry about looping things around. We are also going to need a bit of coal to, to power the thing, so we will grab that. And this will go locomotive, wagon wagon, locomotive. Excellent. And you can have a little bit of coal, you can have a little bit of coal. You should probably pick up some more coal. There. At least we can have these entirely filled. Okay, so uh, one thing that I always do with my trains is filter them. This is going to be only for iron ore. Uh, and you can set a filter just by middle clicking and selecting, then shift right click and then shift left click to set the filter on each slot. Um, it would be nice if you could click and drag like you can everywhere else in the game, but uh, you can't. You can then copy the settings from one wagon to another. Uh, the reason that I do that is in case the train ever ends up at the wrong station, I don't want it to pick up the wrong goods, because that would be awful. Speaking of awful, this is not going to be a very good station. I don't think it's going to end up well aligned, but whatever, that's fine. Uh, we need inserters and boxes, and we're, <laughs> we're doing fine for belts. Uh, we're going to drop off some of these yellow inserters, I think, uh, in favor of picking up some uh, fast inserters. So we can take these and put them in here. We can take these and put them here. And we have 20 left, that's fine. Okay. And let's make some iron chests. Do we have medium power poles? Let's make some more of those too. Whoa, we should watch where we're going while we're driving though. Whee! Okay, medium power poles. Uh, they can't reach. That's okay. I really wish that I had this two tiles down. Uh, hold on now. We are going to move the whole thing down by two tiles. <laughs> Catch it on the other side. Woohoo! <laughs> Train tricks with Apocrypha. Right. And we're going to put this train station back. And we're going to call it Starter Iron Drop Off. And you can go to Starter Iron Drop Off until. Wait, can you just go there? Perfect. Okay. I feel a little better about this. You know, picking up rails is apparently really annoying to do. Alright. Uh, so, we need those medium power poles. Where do they go? I have one. Here, here, okay, get some lights, I did not line those up, even remotely, this is supposed to be between the cars, not, <laughs> not in front of the cars, okay, there we go, yeesh, we got this. That worked out. Okay. <laughs> All right. And our boxes that we made are gonna go like this. And our inserters are gonna go like this and like this. And this is uh, enough for basically two yellow belts to come out. Um, we need to combine those yellow belts 
uh, like the what should we call it? Um, these should output each to like two sides of a belt. What am I trying to say here? Like this, right? So this will be basically a, a full yellow belt coming out. Uh, and we'll do uh, something similar here. So we will have uh, two full yellow belts coming out. We'll balance them. We'll get the car out of the way. And then we'll basically just kind of uh, take this. This is going to be iron. We could pump it down to steel as well. Uh, but for the time being, um, what we'll do is uh, just put it in here. And we'll actually prioritize uh, the right for input so that we're eating up uh, what's left of this iron mine here. Uh, okay, so this should all be set up to unload ore. Um, do I have miners on me? No. Uh, so I'll actually pick up uh, these. I'm looking at the uh, expected resources over here on the right to see like this has 1.5k left, this has nothing. So we're gonna pick up the ones that uh, have no resources left. Which is actually a lot of them. Which is why we're having such trouble with iron. Good enough for now. Uh, so how many miners do we have? Because we're going to need a bunch. We'll just grab all these. We have 65 now. Uh, we do not need this making anything now, though. We have somewhere else that's making inserters. So that can all just be miners. We'll eventually replace that with something <laughs> a little more... Um, permanent, but for the time being, it's fine. Okay, so this train, uh, oh cool, it shows you which head of the train is the front. Uh, we are going to bring this train over to here, and I think we will basically build exactly the same thing, except um, coming in maybe through here, let's say. So we'll build it, uh, I don't know, right here. Uh, so our goal is going to be to get here, and we are leaving from here. We'll cut across the highway, and then basically just draw a line like this. It'll give us a path, and we will just kind of do our best to follow the path. We're going? Oh no, we're set to automatic, aren't we? Manual. Whoops. We're already doing a bad job. Following the ghosts. Now, usually we would have a little bit more uh, structure to where we're laying our rails, but really for now, we just want this to kind of be uh, just as quick and dirty as possible. Well, not necessarily we want it to be, but it's going to be because uh, we really need that iron coming in. I think we'll have enough rails for this. We're also going to need a few more gates. So that we can actually get in here. Um, uh, so, right, we need to have gates there first. One, two, three, four. Locomotive is in the way. Yeah, I bet it is. There we go. Uh, we can replace this with an underground and continue on our merry way. Okay, 
and we'll put another train stop at the end here. And this is going to be Iron A pickup. And you are going to go to Iron A pickup. Whoops, no, 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 come back. Come back. You're going to stay here until full. You're going to stay here until empty. Now get back here. <laughs> okay. Uh, we probably need a few more medium power poles, so we'll craft those. Uh, let's see. There. There. And there. And we'll do the same sort of thing that we did at the other end, except uh, the other way around. This is going to be loading. Oh, we're also going to do something special to make sure that uh, we are loading as evenly as we can. Because uh, what will happen is uh, we will have... Uh... What's happening? Oh, right. It's like I'm missing something here. <laughs> Got this. Uh, you know what? We'll just do this. This is fine. There. Um, so we'll basically have uh, two yellow belts coming in. Although we're going to have a lot more than two yellow belts for the ore coming in. We should probably do this a little bit classier of a way. Classic, right? Yeah. We can just snake this stuff around. Okay. Uh yeah, and then maybe make uh balancer here. Remember, whoops, if I can remember how to do it. Oh my goodness, not like that. Coordination. What are you doing? Uh, so this will make sure that the four lanes are balanced uh, coming in. And uh, we're obviously going to have more than four lanes worth of ore coming in here, but uh, that's fine. We, we probably have a, a balancer in here. We'll have to figure out exactly how many lanes there are coming in here. Um, and actually, now that I think about it, it'll probably be coming in from the other side. Whatever. The important thing is that uh, we're going to balance it to four lanes so that uh, it looks like this. At least something like that. But in order to make sure that it loads evenly, uh, we are going to do something special. We're going to use an arithmetic combinator and a bunch of green and red wires. Where'd that thing go? We're going to put this here. We're going to do input each divided by negative one, negative one, output each, and we are going to hook this up to the contents of the chest. Uh, so something like this. And we can just copy this. And, uh, we'll wait until we have everything hooked up. Uh, and then we can hook all of the insertors together to the outputs and hook these up like this. Oops. And we'll copy 
this here because you get the wires for free. Okay, so basically um, we have, um, right, okay, that, that help. Uh, so we have uh, the green wires all connected to the chests add up uh, all of the ore that is in each of those chests and it will do a sum so like uh, even oops, even if there's like you know uh, eight spread across here it'll all still sum to eight uh, we take that we divide it by the negative number of chests we have which in this case is 12 um, and that basically tells us uh, the negative average number of uh, ore that's in each chest, or that should be in each chest. So, like, if we had 12 ore altogether, uh, it's easier to see if we have, like, um, something else. So, like, let's say, for example, uh, we put 100 iron belt or uh, belts in there. We divide that by negative 12. This says that these, each chest should have roughly 8 uh, belts in it. But it, that's not the case. So we basically want to take each of these inserters and say, um, like the uh, the red wire connecting these two. Okay, this green wire that's going to the inserters is saying that um, this is how much should be in that chest. The red wire is connected to that and will basically sum together uh, what's on there. So if we were to take another red wire and connect it. To here and a green wire and connect it to here uh, we see that there's a 100 coming off the chest there's a negative 8 coming off of the uh, um, whatever the other thing is uh, combinator um, and we want to only activate if this uh, is reading less than or equal to zero so basically, if there is a deficit in this chest, then uh, we don't want to be activating the inserter. So uh, the way that that looks now, uh, once we get some, let's say we put some stuff on here. Um, oh, we didn't actually copy this Oop. and now uh, it's basically only allowing items into the chests that uh... wait now why won't that go oh because there's not enough stuff I think it's supposed to be set to the stack size of the uh, inserters. <laughs> anyway, the point is uh, that this should result in the chest being roughly balanced, although it's not. What's wrong here? Something isn't right. What should I just do? None of these should be picking up, because they're like... Well, I guess maybe. Yeah, okay, that's that's working pretty well. Yeah, okay. So we can just take all these out, and we will fill this up with um, ore, rather than transport belts. Uh, but that is something that we will do in the next episode. Uh, so today we set up a train line, um, a very, very basic one. Uh, we set up our station to be able to take in the ore that we get. Uh, we set up our pickup station here um, so that uh, we can 
pump this ore over to our base. Um, and that's as far as we got. Um, so this has been episode 15 of Mosaic. Thank you for joining me, and I will catch you next time.